Recently, we had a publication in the Journal of Current Medicinal Chemistry on the topic of intracranial aneurysms. An intracranial aneurysm is a small ballooning of a weakened blood vessel that goes into the brain. Intracranial aneurysms are caused due to various risk factors, including hemodynamic stresses, aging, and genetic disorders. In most cases, intracranial aneurysms do not cause any serious problem during the lifetime of a person. However, should they grow in size or rupture, they could lead to serious conditions such as a stroke and often death. Therefore, the early diagnosis and treatment is very critical. In our review article, we have discussed various available treatment options such as surgical clipping, endovascular coiling and stem assisted coiling for the treatment of both ruptured and unruptured intracranial aneurysms of various sizes. But on this occasion, I would like to discuss with you the future of diagnosis and treatment of intracranial aneurysms, and that is with the use of nanotechnology. In terms of early diagnosis and treatment of intracranial aneurysms, nanomaterial and nanodevices could prove significantly useful. The potential clinical applications are mostly due to their increased sensitivity of imaging chiefly at radio labeled compounds compared to contemporary imaging techniques. Furthermore, nanoparticles such as magnetic nanoparticles and gold nanoparticles have received special attention in the field of imaging and diagnosis as they are highly biocompatible and have unique optical properties and also because they easily conjugate to biomolecules. In terms of surgically treating intracranial aneurysms, nanowires coated with antigens against the vascular endothelium could be used for the purpose of ablation. Deploying millions of such nanowires, as well as employing nanotubes to further increase the spread of dilated arterial walls, could lead to a more effective treatment of intracranial aneurysms than other methods currently available. But in my opinion, so far, the most interesting proposed use of nanotechnology platform in the field of endovascular treatment of brain aneurysms has been the idea of using nanorobots to navigate as blood-borne devices and aid early diagnosis and a smart drug delivery to the site of aneurysms. Fascinatingly, nanorobots could be used to identify and localize protein overexpression signals as a way to identify initial phases of aneurysm development.